Hello guys, how are you doing? I am Utman with learningenglishwithutman.com uh, Welcome guys, this is as I told you, as I promised you to share with you the document and to tell about the intern project, okay? So, let's get started. As I told you about the intern project, you must read the whole document that's in order to get a high degrees or a good mark <laughs> or just to validate <laughs> that's it so try to read the whole document and if you do not understand or still have any question feel free don't hesitate okay first of all you should this is your laptop or your phone or whatever the, the device you use to write your uh, research you should use 12 okay in your writing or uh, in your research project okay and write in time new romance this is in the style you have to choose the style of time times new romance along with double space okay so first of all guys start numbering your pages okay uh, you have to number only the introduction it's not all the that's just in the table of content not i'm not talking about the whole research just in the table of content try to number only the introduction right for example number one page one or page two or and move okay so in this document includes the whole format of your research work and where you should organize it and present your table of content the sample presented below is what you should follow by the number of section and chapters depends on amount of ideas and material you have got this depends only on your research and on your topic because some sometimes uh, you will choose like for example the title of good switching so there are some to say but not for example like the the topic that i have chosen for example the sentence based analysis uh, in southern moroccan arabic just in two dimensions in or syntactically and semantically this is, i work it on both okay that's it so i choose this format and i worked on it and i validate it <laughs> yeah that's it so let's uh, complete you should all follow the pattern given below to help yourself organize your work you should follow from the bottom to the end okay so this is the most important guys table of content you will take it you will take this one and put it okay because you will work on declaration of academic integrity as i told you in the first video i told you that i'm going to explain all of these declaration of academic integrity abstract dedication acknowledgement and so on okay yeah introduction you know the introduction you will mention all what you are going to discuss during your uh, research this is introduction okay i will show you because uh, some people want to write these ideas i will i will uh, show you here let's move directly to it okay uh this these are some explanations first of all the abstract what is the abstract it is the summary of your work the summary of your work this uh use it only in 10 lines okay just a paragraph it is a paragraph i used a paragraph okay uh statement of your research problem this is the statement of your research problem here you give the reason why you have chosen to deal with the topic you have chosen this <laughs> in what paragraph again okay research objective this is only the small paragraph okay and research objectives you state the different objectives objectives of your research that's all three or four objectives it means what you are going to discuss simply just for example 
I am going to to for example to illustrate the different types of translations of tales or everything okay as I, I talked about the the different uh, types of languages that are existed in Morocco or in southern of Moroccan <laughs> uh, region okay that's it yeah that's it and research questions you have to ask questions for example i used for example uh what are different types of uh, languages that exist in morocco what what is the definition of uh, varieties for example this is what i have used so just three or four questions this is maximum okay research organization <laughs> here you write a summary of the main parts and sections your paper will comprise okay this is 10 or 11 lines as a paragraph okay let's get into the main or the most important part which is literature review you have to take all your time to this part because the most most of the professors are just going in di directly to this part okay because this is the main part in your research okay this includes theoretical background you have to provide about your topic this part usually include definitions as i told you before definitions types cat or categories historical background or development characteristics use etc okay this depends on what you are dealing with as i told you again it depends on your topic okay if you are dealing for example with the proverbs for instance you can write about their definition for example the proverb is dun, 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 dun. the translation is dun, 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 uh, etc okay that's it or the their features and characteristics their use in society and education if you are for example dealing with traditions you have to provide definitions geographical location of the city or community you are dealing with you can also deal with some of it's historical i'm sorry it's a historical okay or history that's it okay let's move on to research methodology this refers to the method you have used to collect your data the research methodology method so uh, it depends on your um, experience because some people are just going directly to high school high school and they are going to ask students please and they get information from this okay this is the, just methodology okay this is a method or just uh, you know when you are using google and you share some questions to your friends classmates other people and they will answer you and the answer will go back directly to your device okay so research design here you write about whether you use the descriptive qualitative for example interviews in this interview as i told you just you go on the street and if you get some some people please can i ask you i have a question what do you what do you know about the language the amazing language or any languages or any topic that you are dealing with what do you think and you will take your uh you will take your pen and you will analyze everything okay and you write everything you got from these people okay survive or quantitative as i told you or questionnaire this is questionnaire <laughs> designed to collect your data okay this is only in in a short paragraph again okay because th these paragraphs just lead you to a whole uh research okay and yeah research participant in this section you speak about people participant or people you have asked okay for example if you ask someone a, a student or a man or a woman or a girl you met okay 
and you will take for example their gender she is for example i coral okay and uh, her age for example 20 20 22 or uh, whatever and yeah that's it this is in a general way in a short paragraph again <laughs> that's easy okay um in data collection procedure you deal with your data collection instrument okay for, or in the other word whether you have used a questionnaire interviews or other means in one short paragraph okay and then data presentation in this chapter you present the data you collected either in the form of a chart categories or any other form of presentation yeah this is as i told you you present the data because for example your data for example you uh ask some people okay or the way you collected your uh, information you will put it for example in a chart i chose this or i i bring this from my grandpa I, because he he knows so many things about this language for example in amazon so uh what is for example how did you start for example you, uh, they will say i just find my parents speaking and they try to imitate or whatever you've done just put it here whatever anything okay and then data analysis in this chapter you analyze or uh, you analyze yes the collected data this is uh, everything that you took from students or from people outside in questionnaire on it survives uh, or no it's not survives what i'm doing survive survive i'm sorry <laughs> which means you describe explain comment and draw conclusion from the data you have presented all what you did write a paragraph a long paragraph or as a summary of what you did okay you can also compare or contrast elements of your data this is just to add if you don't know what to do just make a comparison between what you did okay and that's it make a com compare or contrast element of your data to illustrate your idea just to give more information to more to add more details okay you can use any other significant way of analysis analysis yeah while analyzing try to develop your ideas according to the to a certain order namely from most important or significant to the least from you know that's it you guys we are um, this is the end which is conclusion in the conclusion you sum up the whole risk, everything you have to sum up okay uh, the whole research you can also speak about important or implication of your study okay and limitation and I will just want to talk about something here maybe yeah bibliography <laughs> in the bibli bibliography uh i just want to tell you something uh you have to for example if you used google for example if you googled something okay try to take the source okay try to take the source or if someone says something and you it's important or include or uh, it deals with the same topic just take it and put it be between quotation marks and write the, the the writer okay or the author okay and yeah and take you can also take the the source the the site you know citing you have i will uh, discuss with you this uh, technique which is citing for example when you are taking the site you or this is the source or the site in google just take it okay just copy and paste and that's it i hope you like this video this is the end of <laughs> by the way i will share with you this document please <laughs> i'm begging you <laughs> this is my first page here so try to press this button like and follow 
and they will share with you something else concerning the document concerning the maybe yeah because my major was uh applied linguistics yeah only linguistics my major was linguistics what i'm saying oh my goodness yeah linguistics so i will share with you other videos concerning the do the modules okay either um modules of s6 yeah so see you guys <laughs> bye bye